It's draft, but wacky. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. It's going to be terrible. Let's give it a try. <laughs> um, okay, so everything costs five less. And we're playing Akoria. That means that essentially every single card is going to be one mana. Except for Bilante, which is three mana. This card's fantastic. But is it fantastic when it costs three mana in the world of one mana? It's probably still just fantastic, eh? It's probably still just fantastic. Let's take Bulan. Hey. Maybe it's not fantastic. Maybe it's not fantastic, because I figure if everything is a one drop, that means that you're going to want to play a loot. The hand smoother is going to be on two. God, I don't, even, I don't even know how many lands you want to play. Like, I'm wondering if essence scatter is better, but it can't be better because you're not you're not tempoing them. Splendor Mare better? I just I I I I can't wrap my head around if three mana is just wildly three mana of different colors is just too expensive here. Now is mutate a cast? Mutate is a cast, so mutate will be uh, uh, one mana, or in this case, three mana as well. Almost makes me think I want like an essence symbiote. Let's take Biolante and see what happens. Is cycling better, or is cycling still is cycling still just the best, or does it lose power? It might still just be the best. There's not much else left in this pack. I figure Mutate gets a massive bonus. I guess we can take Charge of the Forever Beast. Maybe it's a lot better when it's only one mana. Your hand's going to be emptying even faster, though. Let's give it a try, see what we get. So Archipelago is two mana. This probably gets significantly better than it was, and it was already fantastic. So let's take Archipelago. And let's, let's attempt to break the format. Take advantage of all the things that are going on with it here. Um, this pack looks shockingly bad. I've, I've mostly erased Ikoria from my memory, but this looks really bad. Like Marmoset was good in the cycling deck. If we want to be like maybe blue green, I guess we could. No, I guess we want to be black green or black white for Biolante. Hmm. Is it just Brushwag? Brushwag's got to be worse because you're going to be playing less lands, which means you're not probably going to be double pumping him. Let's take Brushwag. That was a bad pack, though. Porcuparrot. Porcuparrot for one mana sounds really good. Unfortunately, I guess the signals are going to be weird since this is bots, right? Sick Porky Parrot. We're still figuring out where we are. <clears throat> still figuring out where we are. Um, so Vantasaur as a one drop sounds pretty good. So we could still be like green, white, something. Because the red for Porky Parrot, these aren't interesting to me. Blue for Archipelago, this is not interesting to me. General's Enforcer is probably the best card here. But it's just a two mana, two, three... really hard format to wrap your head around. I think I'm going to take the Vantasaur. I, th I think what we want to do is break what the format's giving us, which is giving us three sixes for one or five fives for one. 
So I'm still not sold on being white here. I think our red is better. So let's take Lava Serpent. Another Lava Serpent. Okay, okay. I, I think I'd be happiest if we were like red-blue here. Does Tentative Connections get a, lot, get a lot better when it's one mana always? It might. It might. I think it's better than anything else here. Ooh, the crystals are free. The crystals are free. Let's take a crystal. Um, follow that up with a raptor. I think we're going to push into red here. I think I want to be red blue. And maybe red blue green. We'll see. Um, Frostveil ambush is two mana. This is the... That's the discard draw. So trap is free, but it still costs four to activate. Let's take Reunion. Although I don't think we're going to have cards in hand to, to discard to Reunion. Let's take Frenzy Raptor. I guess a main deck Shredded Sails, because we're going to be able to play more cards than normal, I think. Uh, Raking Claws probably won't make the main deck. Tentative Connections. We'll see. Let me just reread <laughs> exactly what Turbo Draft, what this says. So it's just spells cost five less. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So we've got, what are you, Gem Razor? Um, well, we don't have to be blue heavily. We could be red, green. Gem Razor is really good. And I think it beats most other things here. So Clash of Titans becomes much better. Two mana instant speed fight is not bad. I think the bots will wheel it. Let's take Gem Razor. Um, what if we were green, red, splash black? That would let us splash Bialante's mutate. Because I think this Lava Serpent comes back around. All right, let's see about getting into black, green, or, or red, green, splash black, or uh, red, black, splash green. Uh, Flame Spill is probably the best card here. Definitely the best card here. All right, so blue is nowhere to be seen. So we'll get rid of Archipelago or get rid of this Vantasaur. Um, so Titanothrex is not uh, made fully cheapened. It is only four mana for an 11-11. Darn. <laughs> Let's pick that up. Uh, Fertilid or Evolving Wilds. I think we're just the Evolving Wilds. I think we want our consistency here. We want to make sure we're getting our lands. So I'm thinking these crystals are actually a pretty good pickup. I'm thinking these are, are, are maybe going to be the thing that first doesn't quite get realized by people. Um, and I want Zaketria because these are free. These are moxes, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Uh, I think we'll take another Evolving Wilds here. Let's just get consistent. And then we'll finish up. Um, so we've got a Bushmeat Poacher. If we do want to be full on three colors, so we're not quite getting the crystal that I want. Is there a crystal for, for Jund? Can't remember. I've really put this set out of my mind. Because I don't want the Prickly Marmoset, I don't want the Plummet, I don't want the Wilt. Let's take the Poacher. Um, another Frenzied Raptor. Another Poacher. Let, let's go full on Jund, take the Poachers. These as one mana feel pretty good. Honey Mammoth for two mana feels great. Cocoon's free. That's pretty cute. Let's take a free Cocoon. Um, I don't think we're going to play anything here. Or here, or here, or here. <laughs> so here's just about one of the worst cards you could have in this format. This actually costs seven, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, this actually costs seven mana. That's ludicrous. We've got a greater sandworm, which I think is the pick here. There's a dead weight. Um, interestingly, that clash didn't come back around. So the bots are in fact trash. Um, yeah, let's take greater sandworm. Oh, I don't know exactly how many, how many, how many cards I want in this deck. 
Um, so we're Jund, so Dracus is kind of out. Uh, I'm not splashing this for red, red. I never did that in this format. I never think it was correct. Trumpeting Gnar, we're not going to be splashing blue, although currently with the crystals, we actually could. We're splashing black for what? Biolante? I don't think it's worth that Biolante is going to be better than Gnar, the Sickly Sandworm. Um, Great Horn, heck yeah. One mana, uh, Rampant Growth, three, four. You bet. You bet. Get in the deck. Wild Bonder. How much trample? Ah, oh, ah, oh yes. Let's take that wild bonder. <laughs> Wrong crystal, but it is a mox. It is a mox. You just always take a mox, right? You always take a mox. Um, I guess we can play a Drana Stinger. Cycling's fine, right? I don't know how many cards to play here. Ooh. Two mana, six, four, first strike? You bet. Get in the deck. Um, That's a blue-red duel. Not quite what I want. There's a Capture Sphere, though. That's fantastic. Uh, no, no, it's not. I'm not playing blue. There was just so much blue that I've been seeing suddenly after blue not being open that I thought I was playing blue. Um, Raking Claws? I guess that's cute on our Titan Othrex. Get the old 22-22 trample. Damage can't be blocked. Why not? <laughs> Let's do whatever we feel like this draft day. Eh? Uh, we've got a prickly marmoset that I don't think we'll play. Uh, Rugged Highlands, thanks for coming back around, friend. Um, nothing I want here. Nothing I want here. Nothing I want here. Nothing I want here. Okay, so... These are all one drops. These are zero drops. These are all one. This is a three drop. That's a one drop. That's a two drop. That's a two drop. That's a two drop. That's a, a wildly expensive four drop. And this is a three drop. So we don't need 17 lands. <laughs> we definitely don't need 17 lands and not with the moxes, that's for sure. I think card draw, uh, much like the omniscience draft, will be very good here, which we obviously don't have in Jund. Um, now, I mean, our bush meat poachers do give us that card draw though. So I think it's pretty important that we have black available. We don't need a planes. What's the planes here for? For Biolante? Uh, we don't need the planes. We actually have a crystal, so we could actually cast it. Take away the planes. Um, how many swamps? Unfortunately, no crystals for swamps. So I think two swamps and two wilds. And then let's cut like mountain forest, mountain forest. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 lands. plus three moxes. That feels a little bit low. I do like that this requires me to think a little bit, even though it's not going to be the draft experience I want. Um, so what do we cut? What's our creature count? 20? Uh, is Cocoon doing anything for us? It is a free card, but that costs a card slot, remember. Um, can, I, can I search? How does, how does this all work now? Can I search by Oracle Text? Oh my god, just give me the drop down. Um, I can search by Oracle Text. This is basically Scryfall. That's pretty cool. So Oracle Text Mutate. Yeah, we don't have enough Mutate for the Cocoon. And then I think Brushwag's just really bad. So this is 12 lands. 12 lands, all right. 
let's go with this and see what happens. I, I, I don't have hope. <laughs> I, I didn't even check what the prizes were. I assume they're pretty odd. Uh, but the draft was 5,000? Draft was 5,000 gold. That's half a normal draft. What does bot draft cost? Bot draft is 750 gems, I know. Is that half of 1,500? That is half of 1,500. Okay, so this is a normal bot draft. All right, so we've got a mox and stuff. Seems good. Seems good, especially because we have also have a hasty 5-5 five five right here. So uh, time to go land mox 5-5. Five five. Go to 15. This format's bad. <laughs> this format's real bad. So five of them drop the crystal so we've got shredded sails up in case they drop a flyer, I guess, or an artifact. Pass the turn. <laughs> this is... Oh, God. Oh, boy. I guess, actually, we should have gone Crystal, Lava Serpent, Evolving Wild to get a Swamp. That would have been the better play. I'm glad I'm glad these exist for people who like them. I'm glad they exist for people who like them. Uh, let's drop another Mox. <laughs> uh, let's drop that Wilds. Go and get a Swamp. Yoink. Five them. Pass the turn. Yeah, I, I think card draw is going to be pretty big. Omniscience draft obviously helps it out quite okay, so they have their own. So this is the format. This is the format. Sure, I'm winning the race. <clears throat> Unless you have a blood curdle. Chittering harvester. I have to sack a creature. Well, that was fun. This was very fun magic. <laughs> oh lord ah uh, sure I sack my serpent and hey look at that well I do believe I'm dead we have to top deck a blood curdle or a greater sandworm Dark Bargain, sure. Yeah, we probably could have used some Dark Bargains in this deck. <clears throat> but I have a feeling this format might just be Lava Serpent versus Lava Serpent. Luckily, we have two. I guess we can cycle the Shredded Sails. <clears throat> Doesn't look like they're going to be playing Flyers or Artifacts. Another Poacher. Okay. Hey, there's the Sandworm. I was just talking about you, friend. Uh, let's bash in for two. Lurking Deadeye, oh no, you're going to kill it. You shouldn't. You should deal nine to me next turn. Sure. A-OK -okay with that. I guess they could have one more trick. They do have one more trick. Yes, yes. Sure thing. So we're going to go Poacher, Sandworm. Demand they have removal, or else they can't attack. But we don't just win. God, I forgot how much I dislike mutate. Cool. Can you sack yourself? You cannot sack yourself. Oh, right. It was two chittering harvesters, so it was two triggers. Man, mutate. Ain't my friend. So 5-5 five, five Death Touch Lifelink, that's interesting. That's interesting. We gain 5 off of this, so we actually take 0. But that's if they don't have removal. Or another Lava Serpent, or anything to deal 1 damage to my face. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure I've spent my last 5,000 gold on this. Lurking Dead Eye, we're dead. Cool. GG. It wasn't GG. It was just a G. I'll let you guess which G it was. Um, so what are the prizes here? The prizes are... These are bot prizes, right? Just incredibly crappily increasing amounts of gems until finally with a six or seven win, you actually get your gems back and you get a pack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I think we'll do this instead of Spiky Saturday today because Spiky Saturday is not getting views. Um, I think people are done with M21, even though I still love the format. I think it's very good. Um, but that being said, Magic's just not getting views, right? This morning I checked and there were there were Saturday mornings where Magic on Twitch would have like 7,000 viewers and they had 2,000. Um, okay, we can get whatever land we want, which will... God, I guess it has to be a, a red source, doesn't it? Maybe we just mull this hand. Mulling feels really bad in this format. No, I think we have to keep, and I think we go red. We can Cathartic Reunion, and that'll fix everything. Because black, black just gives us Blood Curdle. It does not give us Nethroi until we find another Swamp and or a Crystal. This format is trash. Um, okay, we have to go and get Black because we have to Blood Curdle that next turn. This format's really bad. <laughs> Don't play this. Don't give Wizards money for this game. Do not give them money for this game. Then we'll drop another Evolving Wilds past the turn. Cloud Piercer? Sure. Let's crack this, get a red source. Sanctuary. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just going to go Frenzied Raptor because that can block the cloud Piazza. <laughs> if you're going to give them money, you just draft a lot of serpents. God, I remember when Magic Draft was a well-designed game with purposeful decisions to create good draft environments. Adventurous Impulse? Sure. Ooh. Obosh. Obosh coming down next turn. Are you odd? You are odd. So rip us, I guess. Uh, we are going to Cathartic Reunion, pitching Marmoset and Smasher in case we can find a green to get a Sandworm down. Uh, but we find nothing instead. We find nothing. Okay then. Now at least Obosh doesn't give double strike, it just gives double damage, so we still block and kill Cloud Piercer. Your two mana to cycle or your two mana? Obosh, you got it. <clears throat> Ram through? Cool. We're dead. Uh, I'll take 10. Why not? I'll take 16. This is fun magic. But I figured people would want to see what this is like because I didn't even hear this announced because it's not like Wizards Coast actually tells you when events are going to happen anymore, right? Um, so I figured people would want to see what it's like. And I wanted to see what it was like. And it's what I thought it would be like. 
Oh, uh, but at least it's entertaining. It's entertaining and uh, only cost me five bucks. All right. Let's see if we just straight up lose. Um, I guess we keep. Bloop and bloop. Because then next turn we could Porky Parrot onto the Raptor or just drop Porky Parrot. Adaptive Shimmer for free. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm going to trade there, you betcha. Honey Mammoth. Guess we lose. Guess we lose. Because we don't have our own 7 7 in hand. So I guess we'll lose. Um, we can go with the Porky Parrot block Flame Spill to kill the Honey Mammoth, I guess. This format's trash. <laughs> this format's actually garbage. Uh, sure, you've got a Trampoly Honey Mammoth. Uh, we're going to block. Ow. Oh, I don't have the red up. Right, 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 right. Um... I guess we go this way because this is what I wanted to actually do. That was a punt. That was my mistake. Ah, yep. It's just Lava Serpent the format. It's literally just Lava Serpent the format. Cool. We're not. We're done. <laughs> Don't give Wizards of the Coast your money for this. Uh, ignore it and punish them for putting crap like this on Arena. Um, that's been Turbo Draft. Bye.